The goal of the print pack is to allow the user the output of data and text to analyze the program flow in Bifrost. This complements the watch points in the Bifrost graph. The concept is simple. To output a text, it is generated as trends in 3D. All print compounds contain terminal nodes so that you don't need to connect to an output node and can easily turn the display on and off. If very large data is displayed and refreshed repeatedly, this will of course have an impact on the performance of the graph. However, while the print pack shows how extremely fast Bifrost is, the display is only meant to be a temporary visualization, similar to the scope nodes. The simple print node is print static. In version 2, the node directly offers four description value pairs. Just connect any values to the inputs, add a description, done. Additional text can be fed into input strings. At each refresh, if the data has changed, the text is deleted and output again. Print scrolling. Similar to print static, print scrolling offers four description value pairs in version 2. Just connect any values to the inputs, add a description, done. In contrast to print static, with print scrolling, the existing text is scrolled upwards with each refresh so that there is a history of printed lines. Print Array Prints an entire array of any type. A header is printed with the information about the array and then a part of the beginning and a part of the end of the array is shown. Of course you can set how many rows and columns you want to see and possibly see the whole array at once. You can also use the value offset to scroll through the array. Print points. Print data labels at the point positions. The color is optional. The positions of the points and the values for the labels are entered as arrays. Optionally, you can also enter an array for the colors of the points. In case of a very large number of points, there are ways to control the visibility of the labels. Print point properties prints a set of properties of an object as a multi-line label at the position of the points. The desired properties are indicated by entering the names in a list. If necessary, shorter display names can be added. If the object has a property point color, you can use it to color the labels. Print table. Prints a nice table of up to four arrays to compare the values. Print object properties. Prints a nice table of an object's properties. The number of rows and an offset can be set. You can also filter properties to see just the ones that you want. Print object dump. Prints a dump of all of the object's information. You can filter out names that you're not interested in.